Hey, what's up everyone? I just wanted to share some quick little tips and things that I've found in the past day as I've been playing around with staggering bosses in Diablo 4. This applies to all sort builds, but this is primarily focused on ice shards based builds. I'm not very, very familiar with Arclash or Firewall, basically the only two other builds in the game besides like ice spikes for Uber Lilith, at least on Sork. But really the short of it is we basically do all of our damage when the boss is staggered. Particularly this ice shards build, we do almost no damage when the boss is not staggered. We're basically just sitting there hitting them with as much crowd control as we can to try to hit that stagger meter. So then we apply additional damage modifiers. And just to show why this is so powerful, we have this in control aspect here. If you're playing a Sork, you know all about it. It's pretty much where all of our damage comes from. You'll see that it goes up to 35% right here on a one-handed weapon, which is doubled on a two-handed weapon for 70%. So I'll show you the 70% numbers. Basically, the way that this works is while it does have commas and or and all of that, the way that this works is each one is its own multiplier. So in the case of 70% on a two-handed weapon, we can just do the quick little calculation right here. So 1.7 times 1.7 times 1.7. We actually do almost five times as much damage when the monster is staggered. So when a boss is staggered, you know, when that meter turns blue, that means that they count as being applied by all ailments. Slow, chilled, frozen, immobilized, all those things, stunned. So anything that you have that makes you do another multiplier upon that is more damage for you. On top of that is we have ice shards here, which says 25% more damage to frozen enemies times 1.25 there. And then there's actually another modifier for 40% more damage to stunned enemies. So if we want to go all out, we can go up to 8.5x damage just for staggering the boss. All we're trying to do is stagger the boss and then we DPS them down. So how do you do that? Basically by applying any crowd control effects, that little stagger meter will climb up. The stronger the crowd control effect, they all scale a little bit differently. That'll build it over time. And I will demonstrate this very quickly. So you'll see it says Khazra Abomination. This is the little stagger meter right here next to the skull. So if I hit it with a little bit, you can see that I have some chill right here on my um, on all my direct damage. So my ice shards will apply chill. Now you can see that the stagger meter doesn't even ever count down. So once the stagger meter gets built a little bit, you can see that it always goes up. Now this is a weaker chill. This is a 15% chill applied by my ice shards right here. That is my Frostbolt enchantment right here. And then if you really want to see it go up really big, watch the uh, the Frost Nova right here. You know, really, really big right there. And then if you want to see it even bigger, we can see a stun right here. That's the stun from my teleport from my Raiment of the Infinite. So the basic idea here is we want to apply as much crowd control as possible. Now, there are diminishing returns if you spam the same crowd control over and over again. So we can see I get immobilized right here from my Meteor. But if I sit here and I spam Meteor, it doesn't go up as much, right? Look at the subsequent Meteors. The second, third, fourth Meteors right there didn't go up as much as the first one. So what we want to do is weave in different crowd controls. We want to go stun, chill, freeze, you know, immobilize, all that type of stuff. So if you sit there and you spam one move, it's not really the ideal setup. So what we want to do is have as much crowd control as possible in our build and then spam them all in, you know, in a very smart damage rotation. So if I just do this and then I'm using all my different skills, we can build it up very, very quickly. So we'll just let this tick down and uh, not do damage. I just want to show you guys some of the tech that we have access to. So the first thing I want to talk about is the Raiment of the Infinite right here. What this says is when I teleport, it stuns the enemy, right? We, I showed this already. I teleport in. That's the stun. If you play an Ice Shards build, you know exactly what this thing is. Uh, I think most builds actually still use it regardless. It's so powerful. Um, pulls in all the monsters and stuns them. Cool thing that you can do right here is actually use the teleport enchantment that replaces your evade with a short distance teleport. And that actually takes on the Raiment of the Infinite effect. Now, the thing is, it does give it a very long cooldown. It, yeah, it's a 14.6 second cooldown. Not really something you want to use in general purpose. However, I have these boots here that say plus three max evade charges. That gives me four mini teleports as well as my regular mini teleport, as well as my regular teleport that I can use right off the bat when I go into the fight. There's the other boot implicits that say attacks will reduce the cooldown, stuff like that. There might be better implicits to use, but this is kind of fun because I can just teleport around really quickly. It's a very long cooldown, unfortunately. It also gains the raiment of the infinite stun effect so we can actually use our space bar here our evasion to apply some more stagger meter now because of the long cooldown and all that 
you know, it's not really the best thing to use in the world. You're not going to want to use it as you're walking around, but it's the thing you can swap before the boss fight. Wait 20, 30, 40 seconds before it's all queued up, and then you can kind of go in there. Do this, and then this, and then I can spacebar again. Do this, do this, spacebar again. Do this. You know, you want to rotate them all in, and then you can build your stagger meter really, really quickly. That's another option that you can do. I don't think it's like the best thing to do in the whole world, but it is kind of fun. And if you have a Raymond of the Infinite, it's worth considering. Now, the other thing that you see me using right here, let me apply this just so I take less damage. The other thing that you see me doing here is the Frostbolt Enchantment. This says that direct damage from skills. So this is only from your skills. This won't apply for any like subsequent secondary effects that you might get from an aspect or something like that. This will make it specifically so both my Teleport and my Ice Shards apply a chill. By default, Ice Shards do not apply a chill. So if I take this off, you'll see that my ice shards should not build the stagger meter whatsoever. However, if I add this, you'll see it does make the stagger meter go up. Now, if you sit here and spam it, like I said, there's like, it feels like there's diminishing returns. As you can see, it's like going up really, really slowly. There's basically diminishing returns of applying the exact same status element from the same skill anyway, over and over and over again. So the general idea is we want to weave them in and out and the Frostbolt enchantment is really good. Like, especially if you're using ice shards by default, this does nothing, right? This only applies when the boss is frozen and we want to freeze the boss, right? And so I often, I was already doing this, was I was replacing my ice shards with the Frostbolt. And so this is really, really nice for applying chill. Not to mention any other skill like a meteor will also apply a chill. It's additional crowd control effects. All right, we're back. I uh, wanted to do a demonstration of what it looked like to you know, do a full rotation there. And unfortunately, I just straight up killed the boss. Other thing I want to call attention to is actually the arc lash enchantment that says when you use a cooldown enemies around you are stunned by 0.5 seconds my assumption is that the stagger meter gain is entirely based around the strength of the crowd control that you apply so since this is only 0.5 seconds i think that it's just kind of weaker the only skill i can really demonstrate this with is ice armor because it does no damage and no other ailment effects so yeah i'll press my ice armor next to the monster and you can see it goes up a very, very tiny amount. That was like four pixels. So yeah, that one is unfortunately not really worth. I don't recommend that one at all. So yeah, that one's kind of a neat idea, but unfortunately it does almost nothing for stagger meter on bosses. So we don't really care about that, but yeah, the Frostbolt one is pretty good. As you can see, it builds up a good amount per ice shards that we cast. So that will build up pretty good. And then the other skill that I'm using in my version of build that I think is very useful, not to mention that I get, you know, reduced damage from chilled enemies and all that is Blizzard. Because like I said earlier, we don't inherently chill unless we're using the Frostbolt enchantment. So I think Blizzard's really good. I think the best version of Ice Shards probably uses it. So as you can see, Blizzard by itself is applying a good amount of chill very consistently. It's an 18% chill every single time that it ticks. Now, Blizzard will not do more chill if you cast a bunch of them, at least on the stagger meter. So you can see I can kind of spam it and it's still just kind of slowly ticking up. So multiple blizzards, unfortunately, doesn't build more stagger meter. You really only need to cast one of them. The basic idea here is we want to do blizzard, meteor, teleport in for our Raymond of the Infinite, use Frost Nova here as well because it's a really big builder, and then we want to use the Frostbolt Enchant to build as much chill as well from the Ice Shards. And we can see what this looks like is we just weave this all in, walk through it also with the Flame Shield. I'll talk about the Flame Shield in a second and the stagger meter should build and then you'll see very very big damage if i can hit him there we go so yeah we do like 5x damage as soon as he is in the stagger meter and that's what it looks like and the other thing that i want to talk about is i am using the binding embers that says when you walk through an enemy with flame shield it immobilizes for three seconds and i think this is actually probably our single biggest stagger because it's a three second immobilize this one you know you just pop it and you walk through the monster it's a really really big game Thank you, Kazra Abomination, for letting me test with you. That's really all I wanted to do. I didn't want to make this a very long video. Just a quick little tips video on things that you can do to build that stagger meter. This build is obviously really, really good at blowing up entire packs of monsters, blowing up the whole screen really nicely. But the thing that it's kind of annoying to do is when you get to that single target, we need to stagger the boss to do damage. Really, this build does almost no single target damage if they're not staggered. And this is kind of what I have found in my testing for the ideal way to do the stagger. Just a quick run over it again. Ideally, you want the Raymond of the Infinite. If you don't have it, I'm sorry, but it's really, really good. I finally got my second one at level 97. <laughs> this thing's so rare. Then you wanna use Binding Embers. It doesn't have to be on the boots, but this is where I put it. Then you can Flame Shield walk through. You wanna use Wizard's Meteor. This is a great wombo combo with the Raymond of the Infinite. You do a Meteor and then you teleport in Frost Nova. And this way you just one-shot entire packs of monsters. And then with that, just Blizzard, Frostbolt Enchantment for your Ice Shards. 
and that is your overall rotation for chilling a boss really, really quickly. Just to get XP, I'm doing about 50 to 55 Nightmare Dungeons, and the stagger meter in Nightmare Dungeons looks like it builds about the exact same rate as it does on regular bosses. So that's just what I recommend for staggering those bosses, you know, doing a 5x damage multiplier, and then just DPSing them down real quick. So yeah, thanks for subbing, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all soon. Goodbye.